so we are building this uh, android app which uh, uh, is basically like a clone of medium and uh, till now in the uh, previous parts we have uh, build uh, like the basic setup of the app we've got some of the fragments in and we've got the navigation going on so we have like a top level uh, architecture for our uh, view layer has been created uh, the next thing that we want to uh, get on with is uh, of course fetching the data from the api now the api is very well documented for this project that we're building uh, it's on uh, the github repo for go things to slash real world and we'll take a look at the api out there and then what we'll do is we're going to use retrofit which is a very very famous very very popular library for java to uh, access rest apis and we're going to use json json is a library by google which uh, helps us uh, convert uh, json data into java objects um, so to do that what we will do is of course uh, first of all uh, let's, let's just take a look at the retrofit documentation reading documentation is always a good habit you know so uh, there is uh, the retrofit documentation here on square.github.io slash retrofit so uh, uh, we, we have to create uh, interfaces somewhat like this and then uh, we need to uh, you know uh, we need to create a retrofit object and if you want to use json then uh, for that we need to use this converter called retrofit uh, converter json so i'm gonna set up the requirements into my project first um, okay and then uh, we're gonna try and uh, get access to the api stuff so uh first of all of course uh, oh let me just uh, commit the stuff till now okay um uh, next uh, what we're uh, gonna do is we'll go to uh, our uh, project structure and like you can manually paste the import lines into your gradle file yourself but uh, you know like there is uh, some good things that studio can do for you good dependencies click on add library dependencies let's search for retrofit uh, sorry retrofit and we got retrofit 2.5 that's the one that we uh, want right um then uh, what else we want is uh, uh, converter json so we want the same version of converter json as the one that we are uh, using for retrofit 2.5.0 okay um, then uh, i think uh, yeah, the kpt annotation processor is something that we'll need to uh, set up um i think we cannot change this stuff from here we'll just um, do it manually okay so okay uh, and we'll take a look at the model app uh, file we got this uh, retrofit uh, and json that has been added let's just comment things out a bit i'm just gonna take test implementation android test implementation out uh, put it at the end of the file uh, For unit tests, these are for our integration tests. Uh, okay, got uh, all the Android X stuff in one place. Um, retrofit stuff. Okay, so let's just sync the Gradle file uh, once again. Okay, now uh, to be able to use. Uh, you know retrofit what we need to do is uh, first of all we need to create uh, these models so we're gonna go to our api documentation and uh, sorry i will go to this api documentation and there's this user object uh, there's this profile object so um, yeah what uh, we need to do is like for example when we send a request to um, api slash user we get a user in return right so so we will uh, take this user object and uh, we're gonna create uh, in uh, our uh, app i'll create a package called data inside data i'll go create a uh, package called uh, uh, so first of all i'll just uh, create a package called uh, oh yeah i think i can just create a file directly called uh, models models right 
and we're gonna put uh, Kotlin data class file from JSON I'm gonna paste the JSON stuff here I'm gonna uh, so this is a make Kotlin data class from JSON there's a plugin for that if you go to like uh, plugins for Android studio um, browse repositories there is a uh, if you search with Pojo uh, Kotlin so there's a robo Pojo generator which can generate Pojo files from Kotlin and uh, there is Kotlin data class generate Kotlin data class from uh, JSON so there is like a plugin for that okay uh, so with robo Pojo generator you can use like uh, And you can go new and uh, we can generate pojo from json and we can select kotlin as the language um, call it user response paste this stuff here it's for json uh, generate and uh, we'll get this uh, user response uh, file which is uh, For the generated pojos like that so this is one of the ways of doing it uh, the other ways of doing it is uh, using this thing like i said gen kotlin data class from json paste this uh, user response go to settings uh, we should use vars uh, auto data minor level or not um, annotation for json uh, and okay make yes we got it uh, yes uh, so we got uh, user response data class user response serialized name user var user and then we got this user class for bio email uh, image username all of that stuff okay um let's uh, do it for the other stuff as well uh, so we got uh, profile response new uh profile response settings you know same stuff uh, okay make got uh, yep yeah so we got uh, profile response mm. then uh, we can uh, like get everything else so we got this article response for this uh, Got data class from JSON. Uh, got this. Make. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Now sometimes we uh, need to like create like this the multiple articles response, which uh, of course uh, looks a little different. Uh, so for that we'll do this uh, for the multiple. There's this article response. Uh, create data class. multiple article response which uh, is uh, has uh, got articles and article count so there is a serialized name articles which is our articles which is of type array list of articles oh, sorry article and there is uh, articles count so there is articles count of type int okay um, so I think this is the multi multiple articles response or you can say article array response and there's like a single comment and multiple comments uh, thing also going on so let's take the multiple comments one and uh, we'll do this uh, or you can also do like a new uh, kotlin file uh, which is responses dot kt okay
responses.kt and uh, you'll have like the article response and stuff all uh, going down there yep you can delete article response profile response you can uh, take profile response also into responses I can take user response okay uh, then I think uh, the last response that you want is the comments response so I'll do something uh, take uh, comments do uh, Kotlin uh, convert you can do convert JSON into Kotlin class um, comment array response uh, make you got a comment array response we got a data class comment data class author because uh, comments actually have the author object inside them um, We'll remove this author class from here import the author class as it is um, let's do something uh, like this um, let's refactor and move to um, data okay and let's create a models.kt file out here um, okay models so comment what we'll do is uh, refactor uh, move class comment into package data dot models file name comment dot kt refactor that yep and we got this thing so we have got all our models the article the author comment and all these models out here uh, then we got this uh, responses.kt which uh, is uh, data classes for each of the responses because all the responses you can see they're all encapsulated like there's an object inside which there's comments which is an array like that uh, there should be a comment uh, response also uh, just called uh, comment response it should have a serialized name comment uh, which is going to be of data type comment only like uh, to handle uh, this one right we need to make one for tags as well i guess uh, but we'll get to that uh, and errors and stuff so error response and all just build all of them one by one we're going to build them uh, for now what we need to do is uh, now create a uh, Kotlin uh, file class which is going to be an object called uh, conduit uh, client okay uh, conduit client okay yep and we're going to create uh, another thing which will create an interface okay we'll create an interface uh, called uh, conduit api interface okay okay so conduit api interface is gonna have the uh, different endpoints that we have in our api so let's just start with uh, getting all the articles so get api slash articles okay so we do this uh, at get slash api slash articles it's a function that uh, says get articles so it's got list all the articles okay and uh, get articles uh, returns an object of call type call of retrofit that's what you're supposed to return from retrofit like if you look at the documentation retrofit you are supposed to like you know uh, declare a response of type call and inside the call you put your response type which is uh, article array response okay uh, get articles call uh, okay uh, it uh, can take some arguments it might not take some arguments and so on and so forth 
this is my conduit API interface. I'm gonna get my conduit uh, client. Uh, so here I'm gonna do uh, So I'm going to create an OK HTTP uh, client uh, dot uh, builder uh, dot uh, build. Okay, uh, if I need like something to add like interceptors or something, uh, you know, add interceptor or you can like add a cache size. Uh, so stuff like that, you know, uh, connect timeout or something like that. So for example, if I want to uh, create a connect timeout, uh, I'll take like two seconds of connect timeout. Time unit dot, uh, okay. So time unit dot uh, seconds, uh, two seconds of connect timeout, okay. So other things like interceptors or something I can add here. Then uh, I create a retrofit object uh, from here, okay. Uh, retrofit, uh, equal to retrofit uh, dot uh, builder dot uh, so client I'm gonna use the okay HTTP client here okay then uh, I'm gonna do a base URL which is gonna be uh, from my API the base URL is supposed to be uh, uh, it says that I should point my base URL to HTTPS conduit dot production ready dot API uh, production ready dot IO so if I do API here, then I need to drop the API from here because uh, I don't need API slash API slash articles that would be wrong. So uh, I put like base URL uh, dot, uh, then I don't need anything, uh, add uh, converter factory. I need a uh, JSON converter factory dot uh, create. So I need a JSON converter factory. So everything needs to be converted using JSON because it's, uh, course uh, I'm using JSON and then dot uh, build so I'm gonna get my retrofit object and then I'm gonna do val uh, uh, and I can't do it uh, API equal to uh, retrofit dot uh, uh, create um, conduit API interface class dot chow so that uh, creates my conduit API out there okay and uh, if I need to uh, start checking if it's working correctly or not this is where unit tests help us a lot now of course I can connect it to my UI code and I can actually just download the data and show it in a list view but before I start creating my list view code let's just check out that whether this code is even working or not so for that uh, what I'll do is uh, go to my uh, Whereas, uh, is go to my, uh, you know, uh, unit test folder, test, example unit test. So this is example unit test. Let's run it and see what it does. Run example unit test. It, uh, so addition is correct. That's what it does. Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to create a unit test for, uh, the data. So I'm going to do, um, I create a package here called data okay inside that I'm gonna put a unit test for uh, my uh, conduit client tests so I'm gonna do new Kotlin uh, file or class Condu uh, conduit client tests okay yep uh, call it class conduit client tests so write tests we need to write like this using the other rate test annotation so at the rate uh, test fun uh, so I can write my test like a sentence in Kotlin using this notation if I write it like using the tiltes then in that case my function name can be a string that has spaces inside it now this is very interesting because Java does not allow to do that but Kotlin allows you to create function names with strings inside that so I'm gonna write this uh, get slash uh, API slash uh, oh, okay, I, th I think I don't can't use slashes so get uh, list all articles is 
working uh, that's the name of my test and what I'm gonna do uh, is uh, get uh, conduit API uh, conduit client dot conduit API dot get articles dot execute which gives me uh, well articles response equal to conduit API to get us execute I'm gonna do articles response dot uh, I just do response so I'm gonna do response if a response exists uh, dot uh, body so I'm supposed to have the body uh, dot uh, let assert uh, so there are a lot of assertion functions like there is uh, you know if you see look at the test there is like a assert equals function all of these functions have come from import org.junit.assert so i can just import uh, these assert functions in my code and uh, assert uh, so there is assert equals assert array equals assert not equals um, and a lot of these okay so I'll do assert uh, it dot um, so articles dot length. So first I'll do assert uh, not null it. Then I'm gonna do assert uh, not null it dot articles assert uh, equals it dot articles count uh, so assert equals takes uh, expected value first uh, so if I make a get request to this uh, API right slash articles I'm supposed to get uh, article count uh, equal to 500 okay so it's always 500 this API always sends me 500 articles so I'm gonna do 500 uh, comma it slash articles okay let's run this test and see if uh, this test is actually correctly running or not so when conduit unit test and uh, okay so this fails so this uh, why does it fail okay so base URL must end in slash retrofit tells me that so I'll do that I'm gonna go to uh, conduit client uh, end this with slash uh, go to uh, the interface remove the slash from here run the test again so the test works okay the test works and I can put a breakpoint out here and if I put a breakpoint out here I can actually debug this test at this stage debug conduit client tests and uh, it will hit the breakpoint and the moment it hits the breakpoint I can see this is the response the response contains uh, like this it is an article it has article count equal to 500 as you can see there's the array of articles out here which is exactly what I needed um, every article contains like a body a created at and um, you know everything like it's an author object author has a bio uh, it he has an image and everything so that's fine I mean exactly what area I get the response that I get from here I'm getting here so I am able to independently uh, verify the you know the data layer of my app is working even before I have started uh, putting that into my view model so now that when I add it into my view model I will uh, start uh, I will of course make a call to this thing uh, conduit api dot get articles and then after getting the articles uh, i will uh, show this article somewhere so i'll do that inside my view model that's gonna come up in the next video in the next video we're gonna deal with uh, you know the um, putting the data that we have fetched from the api into our view models i'm gonna complete the rest of the api calls uh, okay so i'm gonna look up the uh, api information available here all the endpoints that are given here i'm gonna just pick them up finish the api next video i'm gonna pick up the data from the api put it into the view model and then in the next to next video we're gonna pick those up and uh, show them inside our fragments okay so yeah thank you for watching uh, if you uh, you know if you're liking the the project that i can build in this uh, in this series uh, please like share and uh, subscribe 
uh, subscribe to our channel we keep making a lot of videos uh, like this okay uh, thank you for watching uh, stay tuned for the next video